So I'm starting out by putting some tape on the corners of my eyes and then priming them using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then I'm just buffing that into my lids using a P80 flat little kabuki brush just to make sure my lids are all prepped. Then going into the Tartlet in Bloom palette I'm taking this bony kind of shade and I'm just setting the entire eyelids using an E52 shader brush. Then I'm dipping into the shade called Smarty Pants, which is like a transitional brown colour. And on an E40, I'm just buffing this into the crease and I'm bringing it really far up towards my brow bone just to make sure it's super smoky. Then I'm using the shade Rebel, which is like a more medium warm toned brown. And I'm doing the same thing, but keeping it a bit lower towards the crease and then slowly buffing the, remain, like the remainder of the product upwards as I blend. Then I'm taking the shade next to it, which is even deeper, it's a similar sort of tone though. And I'm using an E25, which is much more precise, and I'm just doing the same thing, just building up all my colours. Then I'm going back into this shade that I used first, I think it's called Flower Child. And I just used this to blend out and highlight my brow bone, and then I went in with this dark brown colour called Activist and I just started to buff this into the outer corner and then bring it in through the crease so as you can see I'm using it like right up against the tape and then I just blended with my E25 once again. Then I'm taking some more Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just applying a blob of that to the lids and then I looked up just so it kind of maps out where you should apply your crease. So this is kind of a cut crease but kind of not. I didn't bring it up too far but I just wanted to cut it out a little bit so that my shimmer looked super, you know, like it was standing out. So I'm going into the Make Believe In Yourself palette and I'm using this taupey shimmery shade and I'm just taking it on my finger and pressing it into the lid where I applied all of that concealer. And then I did just go in with an E58 brush with some more of the product and just sharpened out the edge. Um, yeah, just so it looked nice and neat. And then I just went back into the Tarte Lid in Bloom palette and picked up Rebel and added a little bit more of that in the outer corner and in the crease. And then going back in with some more of that Activist shade, I'm using the same E32 little brush that I used before and I'm just building up that intensity in the outer corner. Then once again, just going in with the E25 brush, I just blended those edges. And then I took my Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner, which I was not impressed with this day. My shimmery eyeshadow kept transferring down onto it and I could literally not get it to stop. So I was really frustrated with it today or this day. And then I took my Rimmel Cold Pencil and just tight lined with that and used the Marc Jacobs Noir mascara, which this flakes all over my flippin' face. I love it at the start, but it literally takes like an hour and it's already flaking. And then for falsies, I just used the Klepke Saint Tropez, I think. Um, I'll have them listed down below. And then I used the Fenty Beauty Primer and Foundation, which I actually did a review this day, so I just included a few clips of me applying the products, but I'll have the entire review on these products listed down below for you guys. So I used the Beauty Blender for the foundation on one half and then I used an F83 Kabuki on the other half of my face. To conceal and highlight I used my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand and I just dotted some of that under my eyes and down the center of my face to act as a highlight and sort of perfect my skin. So I just blended it all out using my Beauty Blender. Then for cream contour, I used this contour stick from Colourpop. I will have what it's called listed down below because I don't remember off the top of my head, but 
It's a super nice natural contour stick so I applied it all around the perimeters of my face and then sort of just down my nose, under my bottom lip and my chin, all of those kinds of areas. And then I just took my beauty blender once again and blended it all into the skin. Then to set the concealer in place, I'm taking this MAC Prep and Prime setting powder. It's just a translucent powder and I'm just pressing it and like sort of wiping it into my skin using an F35 brush from Sigma. Then to contour, I took the Tarte Clay Play palette and I took these two shades and I took a little bit too much. So I started out on my cheekbones and they were fine. Oh my god, can you hear those dogs? They're so loud. Um, but then, look at this bronzer helmet. Like, what the actual hell did I even do? So I took my beauty blender and blended it out and then took an F50 Duo Fiber brush just to make sure everything was super blended. And then for blush, I used one of my NARS blushes. This one's in the shade Gilda. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a matte coral and I just applied that to my cheeks. Then I moved on to the lips and I used the Maybelline Lip Liner in the shade Nude Whisper and I just outlined my lips completely and overdrew them a little and then I filled them all in with that lip liner as a nude base. And then to fill them in, I used this Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Skinny Dip, which is like a beautiful pale beige nude. It's amazing. And then moving back onto the under eyes, I'm taking the shade Rebel again on my E25 and just buffing this underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Leader and I am buffing that underneath the lower lash line. As well, I'm just building up the colours kind of like I did on the upper lids in the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Activist, which is that dark brown, and just doing the same thing, but I'm sort of keeping this a little bit more in that outer third, so I'm bringing it into where the pupil of my eye is, I guess. And then taking that taupey shimmery shade from the Make Believe In Yourself palette, I first tried to use a brush but I just feel like these shades work better with the finger so I applied that into the inner third of the lower lash line and then finished the eyes off with some mascara and I totally forgot to highlight the inner corners which I was kicking myself about. Then I used this Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Mean Money and Hustler Baby so I first took the more subtle shade and just highlighted my entire face basically. And then I went in with the more metallic shimmery highlight and highlighted all of the same areas but kind of more on just mainly on the very high points of the face. And then that is the completed look. I really really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the Fenty Beauty review if you're interested and I will see you in my next video. That's a bronze helmet if I ever fucking saw one.